Hey friends, many people think that happiness is something that just comes and goes, but that's not true. You can take control of your happiness and create the life you want to live. To help you on your journey, I'll be sharing seven powerful ways that you can start improving your life right now. These tips are based on personal experience, and they've helped me a lot in my own life. So if you're looking for some practical advice on making positive changes in your own life, stay tuned because this video is for you. Number one, stop sacrificing your dreams for what you want right now. It's so easy to sacrifice your dreams for what you want right now. After all, the gratification is immediate, and it's often what we feel like we need in the moment. But if we're not careful, that short-term thinking can prevent us from ever achieving our long-term goals. It's important to remember that our dreams are worth pursuing. They give our lives meaning and provide a sense of accomplishment. When we achieve our dreams, we feel a sense of pride and satisfaction. Additionally, our goals and dreams are often the gateways to a better life. And if you want to reach your goals, you can't let the fear of failure or the need for immediate gratification stand in the way. If you can pursue your dreams with passion and determination, you'll be amazed at what you can achieve. So next time you're about to make a decision, think carefully about what you're doing and whether or not it's something you'll still want in the future. If you don't, you're sacrificing what you want most for what you want right now, and that's never a good idea. Number two, deeply connect with others. We all know the feeling of connection, whether it's the first time you meet someone and just click, or the warmth you feel towards a close friend or family member, it's the connections that make our lives rich and meaningful. But what happens when we are regularly open to letting ourselves really and truly connect with others, when we allow ourselves to be seen, known, and loved for who we are? This is when the magic starts to happen. When we let ourselves be fully known and loved by others, we open up to the possibility for true intimacy. Intimacy doesn't just happen, it's the result of a willingness to be vulnerable and risk being hurt. But the rewards are more than worth it. When we're fully connected with others, we can experience a sense of belonging, peace, and joy unlike anything else. We can also find the strength to face life's challenges, knowing that we're not alone. So if you're yearning for deeper connections in your life, don't be afraid to take the plunge. It just might be the best decision you ever make. Number three, learn how to manage your emotions. One of the most important things you can do for your mental health is to learn how to manage your feelings. When you have strong emotions, it can be tempting to either stuff them down or act on them impulsively. However, neither of these options is healthy in the long run. Instead, learning how to manage your emotions means finding healthy ways to express them. Maybe you journal when you're angry or talk to a friend when you feel sad. Perhaps you go for a run when you're stressed or take a few deep breaths when feeling overwhelmed. Whatever works for you, the important thing is that you find a way to release your emotions in a healthy way. Doing so will improve your mental health, but it will also help you build better relationships and cope with stress more productively. Number four, be open to continual learning. One of the essential habits that we can cultivate is a willingness to learn. Staying open to learning new things ensures that we never stop growing and expanding our horizons. Adopting this mindset has many benefits. First, those who are constantly learning tend to be more successful. They can adapt to change and new situations better than those who do not continue learning. Second, lifelong learners tend to be happier. They enjoy the process of acquiring new knowledge and skills. Finally, People who are constantly learning tend to be more curious and innovative. Their curiosity leads them to ask questions and seek out new answers. If you can embrace the habit of being willing and open to continually learning, it will lead to a more prosperous, happy, and curious life. Number five, learn how to be resilient. Life is full of challenges, and everyone will experience some form of adversity in their lives. Learning how to be resilient is essential for getting through the tough times. Resilient people can pick themselves up after setbacks and continue on with their lives. They have a positive outlook and believe that they can overcome any obstacle. There are many ways to develop resilience, but some key strategies include building positive relationships, creating a strong support network, practicing self-care, and developing problem-solving skills. Additionally, if you're facing a specific obstacle, one of the best strategies is reading about or talking to someone who has faced similar challenges. Hearing about how others have overcome adversity can give you the strength and motivation you need to do the same. By learning how to become more resilient, you'll be better equipped to handle whatever life throws your way. Number six, find something you're passionate about. It's no secret that leading a fulfilling life requires more than just going through the motions day after day. To truly thrive, it's essential to do things that you're passionate about. For some people, it's a hobby like gardening or painting. For others, it may be a cause that they are committed to, such as environmentalism or social justice. 
Regardless of what it is, pursuing your passions can profoundly impact your life. When you do something that you love, it can bring joy and satisfaction. It can also help you learn new things and grow as a person. Additionally, pursuing other passions can help you connect with other people who share your interests. In short, doing things that you're passionate about can improve your life in many ways. So if you haven't already, find something that you're passionate about and start pursuing it today. It will likely change your life for the better. Number seven, be willing to listen. To truly understand someone, we must be willing to genuinely listen to them. Simply hearing the words they say is not enough. When we take the time to really listen, we open ourselves up to understanding their experiences, thoughts, and feelings. This can be difficult, especially if we don't agree with what the person's saying. However, by listening with an open mind and heart, we can learn a great deal about the other person and perhaps even gain a new perspective. In contrast, when we simply listen just to be able to respond, it often comes across as self-centered and can prevent productive communication. In a world that is often filled with noise and conflict, the ability to truly listen can be a powerful tool for building strong relationships and achieving our goals. And that's all the time we have for today's video. If you learned something new, don't forget to leave a like so we know you want to see more of these types of videos. Until next time, have a great day.